Data science, by its very nature, is a collaborative endeavor. Rarely do people work in silos. Data scientists are always looking to do great work and to collaborate among their peers. In today's demo, we'll see DeepNode, a cloud-based collaborative environment for developing data products and sharing with others. To begin, let's log in. Logging into DeepNote will welcome with a screen. To the left side is a navigation pane. In the middle is our canvas. We're going to break our demonstrations for today into two pieces. Number one, the development aspect of DeepNote, and number two, the collaborative aspect of DeepNote. Let's explore the interface. The first thing we see is your user profile. There is an option for the puppet profile and some profile settings. We'll touch on this at a later part of the demo. Below are the integrations. The data sets you need for your data science projects, access them here by creating integrations. For us, we're focusing on Snowflake, and you can create an integration pointing to Snowflake environment. This will require you to put your integration name, account name, username, password, and a few other configurations. Once done, your integration is created. I do have an existing integration we're going to use. Next is the settings. There are general settings, public profile settings with a direct link to a public profile you can share with others. There are project settings and billing options as well. Below, there is a tab for exploration. Here, DeepNode provides sample projects you can dive in and explore. Next are chat and resources, along with shortcuts and community. Let's dive in into creating our very first project on DeepNode. Either create a new project, from scratch or import an existing project. I have a new project being created. We're going to call this demo one. This project runs in a notebook. Import existing Python files, get a project from GitHub, or import a project from Google Drive. Like you would expect with a notebook, you can write code with cells, put in text, write SQL, chat, and input as well. On the far side are the project configurations. Here, see the name of our notebook. If there are files to be imported to support our notebooks, import them here. Below is the environment. This is key for DeepNode. DeepNode provides certain options. Select the Python version, use Docker files, or run this with GPUs, depending on your needs. Next from the project are the integrations. Depending on the use case, pull in the integrations you have, to use. Here, see my Snowflake integration and the schemas available within that all shows up here. As you collaborate with team members, there might be comments going back and forth, those will all show up here. Then the history and the execution of this notebook. Let's go back to an existing notebook, the daily stock price. You can execute the entire notebook or run on a schedule. Have it run daily, weekly, or whatever time is relevant for you. Next are the cells. To execute a cell within DeepNode, we can go ahead and execute the cell. This particular cell would run, leveraging the machine we have available. It takes a few seconds for the machine to spin up. It goes green because the machine is ready and that code is gonna begin running. My code is executed and this shows as green. DeepNode also provides access to the terminal which you can access by clicking on the plus button by the terminal. This brings up a terminal. You can query that terminal and interact as needed. One of the cool things about DeepNode is the ability to collaborate. Here, we can add comments and share tribal knowledge about this notebook. And just like that, we have a comment associated with this particular notebook. And this comment leads with this notebook. A new developer coming in can see exactly the reason why we imported the packages we did and whatever decision we made at this point. Let's look at the ability to share a particular block. So we're going to go into our next block and we can share this block. Decide to share just the code, the output, or both. This gives us a link we can use for sharing. Paste the link into the browser. And just like that, my code is shared along with the visualization. If I wanted to, I could share just the output as opposed to the code. If I go back, this is instantly refreshed. Because the cell has been shared, we can see that particular cell is live. 
we can also go in and perform more actions around this block like running the block running from this block running above the block deleting the block formatting code splitting that block and much more let's see how to interact with data coming from my integrations so we're going to go back to integrations add a new cell this cell would be a sql cell within this cell we can select the snowflake integration if you want you also expand that to see the schemas and the data available in your snowflake instance the query we write here is going to get saved into a data frame so let's write a query tpc dh query looking at some aggregations by country if we run this this gets executed on snowflake and the results should all be visualized we have the results here in the pandas data frame we can explore the result we can sort we can move things around we can also visualize our result with some quick charts and visualizations so from an analyst perspective this provides a quick exploratory tool to get more insights into your data if i'm happy with this or unhappy with it i can change the charts and the visualization let's keep it back to a bar chart if I'm really happy with this, we can go ahead and publish this blog as before. This chart will be shared with my team members or other folks who are stakeholders in this project. Tons of cool features to work with in a notebook type environment. Let's go back and double click on the collaborative experience within DeepNote. Go back, we can see our profile. And if I click on this, I can see there is a public profile available. My public profile is an enabled. To get this enabled, go back and publish a project. Let's go back into our notebook daily stock dashboard. To the top right side, we can share and publish. Here we can manage collaborators working on this project. We can publish this project or unpublish that depending on your needs. And you can make this app user, view, comment, execute, depending on the profile level. I'm gonna select users coming to this project can view it. In your own case, you might want people coming into that project to execute it, to comment on it, to edit it, or to make changes. For now, we're going to keep this with view, and we're going to open a publishing editor. This gives us an option to publish a notebook and to collaborate with others. Set this as public, make this anyone with the link, make this just workspace collaborators, or you can publish this. Select the layout as an article or a dashboard. Go ahead and publish this. Once the notebook is successfully published, go back to our profile and refresh our profile page. We see our profile and we can see the dashboard that has been published. If I were to copy my profile and go over into private mode, let's paste my profile in here for what the public will see. See my profile, but in addition to that, see my published projects. Let's open that up. Here, see the application we published. Now the code wasn't included, but if I wanted to, I can view source and see the source on that code, depending on what the publishing principles were. From here, I can see there are two collaborators on this. There is me looking at that, and there is someone else, which is the incognito mode, looking at that project. So we go back over into my project, see there are others collaborating on this project. If I go back into the private mode as a visitor to this project, I can like this, share it, embed it, see the source, and much more. There you have it, an exploration of deep note. Data science is a team sport. Data scientists are doing amazing work on their environments, and their works can be amplified by tapping into a collaborative environment. GitHub has shown how to do it with software engineering. Google Docs showed the way for document writing. And DeepNote is promising to do the same for the data science ecosystem. Check it out, DeepNote, where teams collaborate on data science. Thanks for watching to the end. Hopefully this demo was relevant to you. As always, if you have any comments, don't hesitate to leave in the comment section below. This has been Fru. You've been watching Demo Hub. I will see you in our next demo.